Hello, YouTube. Benchmade55 here. Just wanted to show you what the new project that I got going on here. Let me just get a stool over here. Okay, so what we have here is I have an electric stove in the house now. And I don't like that because if the power goes out, we're not able to get um, anything to cook on. So we're switching over, living in the country, to a propane stove. And so that is going to be a big difference. Now what we're going to do is use these 30 pound tanks and I'm going to hook up two of them. So on the other side, let me just show you what I got here. I got to level the bricks and stuff here and then I have a hole drilled in and on the other side is a stove. So that's quite convenient. So what I'll be doing is hooking up uh, this setup on here that will come along over here somehow like this and we'll hook up to each to each propane tank and from there this is the regulator that will go and uh, regulate the gas it's a two-stage regulator so that uh, you have like a safety in there so that if the first stage fails for any reason you won't have the full pressure of this because the pressure in these tanks is going to vary depending on the ambient outside temperature and if the sun's beating down on those the pressure could get pretty high in there and so if this, if this gas valve failed you don't want that high pressure going in your house so this is a commercial grade um, regulator two-stage regulator so we'll have two tanks here and I'll only use one at a time. And also I have this copper line that can be bent up. It's a soft copper and it has flare fittings on there on the ends. And this will go inside the house. This valve will come off. And so the valve will be on the inside of the house so you could shut the gas off easily from there if you're working on the stove. Now, uh, so that's the project. So there'll be two tanks running one only at a time and that should provide uh, plenty of pressure. My dad has done the same setup in his, uh, in his house and he had no problem with that. And he had plenty of pressure and he lived in a lot colder climate than I do. So I don't think I'll have a problem with that. And we could have put the 100 pound tanks, which are about five foot tall uh, on there but I didn't want to do that because they're too heavy to move. They're a pain in the neck. These are pretty easy. You can throw them in the car. And so we'll probably have three of them just to make sure that we have uh, spares so that we don't run out of anything. An interesting thing, if you think about uh, wanting to hook up a, a gas stove, is uh, originally I had ordered a stove that had all the fancy schmancy glow coils and for for lighting the, the igniting the, the burners and and fans and timers and all that and we didn't want all that we just wanted something simple and what I found out is uh, those stoves will not run without um, electricity the stove part will but the oven won't and they also pull a lot of power so if you were trying to hook it up to a solar then you're kind of defeating the purpose because it's going to eat up. Okay, so you can see that I have everything hooked up. I've taken the blocks and set them in there. They're nice and level. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering what that pipe is there and all that, that is a tank for rainwater collection. I don't know why it's not focusing there. There it goes. 165 gallons and then we have a runoff down there that goes out to the um, uh, field now back to this so I have it all connected uh, I've taken the two blocks and got them leveled and set them up higher so that the water will run away from the house I don't want to run it into the house any water that comes off there and I've done it all with a hard copper that as you can see it has two loops there that has some flex on there and I've uh, flipped them around so that uh, they didn't crimp or anything 
and there'll be an easy connection. You just connect this up with a wrench. And there is the uh, regulator. And then I stubbed out a piece. Let me come around over here. You see from the from the house, so that uh, that will hold uh, that whole thing on there, so that it's just not bouncing around. So I don't hear it if the wind blows or whatever. And then it's all a thick copper. It's called L copper. Your typical copper is called M, and that is uh, for your house and stuff. And the M means is is uh, signifies the thickness. And this is an L copper, which is even thicker and it's flexible and so then I have it looped around so in the event that I ever want to put a hundred pound tank a hundred gallon tanks on here I have some uh, copper to work with and then it runs into the house and I just have to seal that in and on the inside I have a, a valve that I showed you before and a shut off valve and then I'll just hook that up to the stove now this See, this particular valve right here has a check valve in there. So if I go, one tank gets empty, say, then I can just use the, uh, uh, I can disconnect it, and I can still run off the other one. Okay, bench made, 55, over and out. If you enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe. And just to show you, there is the valve on the inside. That red valve there will shut off the gas. And then there's a connector that will go to the gas stove. And um, that's about it. I just wanted to add one thing, though, is if you do a task like this, uh, make sure you check with your local regulations. And also, um, when I got done, what I did was leak checked everything. I mixed um, a solution of bubbly, uh, soapy water and leak check the entire system uh, to make sure that there is no leaks and that it holds pressure. Okay, Benchmade 55 out.